Hello and welcome back to this week's Biggs Blogcast. So this week we are going to be continuing on conversation about wisdom. This particular week is if you want to be wise, trust God to give you wisdom. Um, our story is going to be coming out of Proverbs 3, 5, and 6, and a little bit from 1 Kings 10, 1 through 10. Um, so the basic idea for this particular small group is I can trust God no matter what. Now our first, obviously we're going to start off with our highs and lows, and then after we move from that, our first activity is going to involve um, a puzzle dinosaurs because they're cool <laughs> they tell you to give the kids some prizes after they've completed the particular task but we're not going to worry about prizes um, especially because it's the very first small group or sorry would be our second small group but still kids with prizes in the middle of service and eh, not really a big fan of that um, so we're going to go ahead and just let them do the puzzle and then the idea is that, you know, being able to put the, the puzzle together and trying to see what the big picture is, that's kind of the prize in of itself. Um, and that's what we're going to learn about today, uh, or rather Sunday. We're going to learn about how, you know, we need to search for the ultimate prize, which will be, you know, wisdom. Of course, it's also Jesus too, but, you know, Bible talks about how we have to seek after wisdom. So, uh, above all else kind of thing. So, um, after we get through the dino one, um, the second activity that we'll be doing will involve candy. Um, it's actually a bag of M&Ms and Skittles. There's a mixture of them. Um, and we did that on pur purpose because there is this guy an evidence evaluation sheet. Um, they're gonna basically need to go through in pairs. They're gonna get a small small number of these. We have four bags of these, so we're gonna have enough for um, two bags for first service, two bags for second service. And then they're gonna have to go through and answer all these questions like, oh, what color are the candies? Are any of them the different shades of the same color? And try and encourage them as well to ignore the symbols on them. If they notice the symbol on that, just tell them to put it to the side and try and pick ones that they can't see. Because obviously if it's an M, they're going to say, ah, it's an M&M. &M. Um, if, if it's an S, do they put S's? Oh, they do put, yeah. And if it's an S, it's a Skittle. So kind of makes the evaluation a little bit hard. And honestly, licking each piece of candy sounds appetizing, but man, it's super gross. And I don't want to put licked candy back in the bag. Because, you know, if you lick them, it gets rid of the... Uh, symbol anyway go through that one um, they they will have the option to eat these as well we'll have some little plates as well that they can put them on so that way you don't have to worry about them getting on the floor anyway the next one that we will go to um, is called going to the source and that's gonna require these guys so what you're gonna want to do with this is each one of these Bible verses you're gonna pair up all the kids and give them a sheet and then from there they're going to look up these bible verses we might have to do a few more um, just because of uh, the lack of bibles so that way because i think we only have four in the room um, but more than welcome to use your phones if they have phones you know they can use their bible app because um, i know we have a couple of students that have phones but what they're going to do is they're going to look up these verses and then they have to draw a picture um, it says to use a different sheet of paper, but I want you guys to go ahead and just do it right here. Um, have them draw a picture on either side of the Bible verse. Um, and that picture is essentially going to be what they think that Bible verse is talking about. For instance, we'll take Proverbs 2.2, which says, making your ear attentive to wisdom and inclining your heart to understanding. So in that case, they could draw... You know, the Bible talks about wisdom in that it's a, a girl. So it could be like, hey, let's draw like a, a lady who's talking to an ear. Um, or maybe a heart that's leaning to one side. Um, and that's going towards understanding. 
So that's what they'll draw on the paper. And they'll do that in pairs. So one person can look things up and then color or draw. And then the next person, they'll switch um, back and forth like that. Uh, then they can take those home as well. Um, that should put us pretty close to the end of service. Um, as always, um, go over the Bible verse as well as we want to make sure that we uh, give a little time to be able to pray over the kids. I think a lot of them are going back to school um, this week or they're already back in school, but you know, can't hurt to pray for them. So we want to make sure we just spend a little bit of time doing that. Bible verse, prayer, and we'll be done. So let me pray over you guys real quick and then we're good to go. Uh, Jesus, thank you so much for this opportunity that we get to serve your children, to be able to serve these kids and serve their families, to be able to pour into them um, everything that you've poured into us and hopefully more. So Jesus, we ask that this Sunday, that as we seek wisdom, that, that we would have an understanding of what that looks like to be able to communicate that, that better to the kids. Um, and also Jesus, we, we ask Holy Spirit uh, that you would come and, and dwell in that place, dwell within us uh, as we serve your people. In your name we pray. Amen. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching the video. Um, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe and the little bell. Just kidding. You don't have to do that. Um, we'll see you Sunday.